Welcome to Faith and Fitness with Angela. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you will like, subscribe, and share these videos. My channel is about faith and fitness. It's encouraging you in the Lord and um, just getting our focus right for the day and working out. So we build our faith and we build our fitness level every day. And this is Sweetie Pie joining us. All right, so I have two scriptures today. I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I figured we would do both. So my first one is, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 51.10 I pray that one every day. I always say, Lord, please cleanse my heart. Please purify all of my thoughts, Lord. You know, I just ask that because... You know, just depending on all the conversations you have in a day or what you've seen or whatever, you can feel, ugh, you know, so I just want a pure heart before the Lord. So that's a good one. And I also ask the Lord to take out my heart of stone and add, you know, give me a heart of flesh because that was, you know, that's in Psalms and it's just beautiful because we don't realize how the things that go in here or here really do affect us. Um, the other one that I had was Matthew 6, 33, and it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. That is perfect for me right now because the important thing and the most, the most important thing we can do every day is to spend time with the Lord. And then everything, then, you know, begin your day. So start your day with good morning, Lord, you know, and just seeking after his will. And Lord, you walk me through my day. And I ask him that every day pretty much. So I'm going to ask him that right now. Um, and again, Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. That means all the things that you need and many things that you want will be added to you. So anyway, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 51, 10. Um, Anyway, I hope those two are encouragements to you. All right, I'm gonna turn, I'm not sure how this is the first time I'm doing music, so um, I don't want it to be too loud in the background, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. Just a little instrumental. It might be too low to hear. Anyhow. I will take these off. It's your eyes change. All right. And I was bike riding. I'm wearing one of my jerseys, um, but I took a big fall and my knee is hurting right now. So, ouch, I can't even put pressure on it. So let's go ahead and start in child pose. First stretching out, just a little bit. As Sweetie Pie does her <laughs> her child pose to her kitty pose. All right, I guess what we'll end up doing is coming forward. All right, let's come up into a little bit of a T-stand. And we'll just open here for a moment. Why not, right? Just kind of start with a big hello to the whole body, turning to the side. Yum, yum, yum. I love you too. All right, coming back to the front. Good. A nice solid flank here. Navel is up and in. Good. We're going to do a few tap outs. Maybe. Tapping out here. Let's just go. Four more. Make sure that your hands are right below your shoulders. Good, take a child pose. And it's on the front of my knee here that I got. And I think, And coming forward again. Yeah, no, no. All right. 
All right, we're gonna go a little bit, we're gonna tap a little farther out, 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 and I'm a little bit, I'm by the fireplace where there's a little bit of a ledge. Good, we'll just linger here for a moment. Wild, sweetie pie. I guess she wants to be part of this workout today, so she will be, she'll be the star today. Any day you want to be. Mm -hmm. Good. Get a nice stretch on the hamstring. And then that feels good. good. Bring it down. And we will switch sides. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. First child pose of the day feels so good. All right. Core plank, pulling forward. Let's go four more. So we're going to do five on each side. Inhaling up, exhale forward. Good. Two more. And one more. Good. Switching sides. for five, two, <laughs> I don't know, I think she'll be part of our workout today, so why don't we just come down, all right, I'll just come down here, yep, she's going to be part, <laughs> part of the workout today. All right, so we're gonna take this top leg, we're gonna go heel over the top, and toe-toe. So we're gonna go heel, pendulum over, and toe-toe. One thing um, when you're setting yourself up, you're gonna wanna start right on your side. Stack your hips straight up, straight down. Put the hand in front. And then we'll take that top leg up, come here, heel, heel, pendulum over without moving the body here, not letting your body roll. Just try to keep the body really the upper body and all the way down here pretty still. All right, so heel, heel, up and over, toe, toe. Trying to make it over kitty here. Good, let's do two more. And last one. Whew. I can feel that top hip. That top hip is working. So I'm gonna stretch it out right here. Whew. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to do top leg only. I'm gonna let this bottom leg relax. If you need to modify to give yourself a better base, you can bend this bottom knee and still work. Make sure that the hips stay stacked one upon the other. If you um, don't, then you're gonna roll back or sometimes forward, but generally back, and that's not good form. So you'll be all flopping everywhere. So we're gonna, I'll start and modify. So this is just a, this gives you a, more of a base to work from. And wherever you're at, it is fine because you're getting a great workout anyway. All right. 
So I'm just gonna touch and lift. And I'm not turning my toe up because wherever your toe goes, the knee is sure to follow. So you don't want the toe coming up. Otherwise you're working your quad, your quadriceps. You're working the bigger muscles. We want to isolate the hip muscles, the smaller muscles, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start here. Touch, touch, raise. Ex inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just like that. So it would look like Good, four more, ah, that's talking a lot and it's because I did a little bit earlier this week. Ah, one more for good measure. Ah, and I'm done with that for a moment. All right, so I am just going to let that one, I'm done with the upper hip for a moment. I'm going to take my foot in, hold on to the ankle and I'm gonna work the inner thigh on that base leg. All right, so I'm just gonna go touch, touch, raise. And again, you don't want the toe facing upward, otherwise you're working the quad and not the inner thigh. We wanna hit that inner thigh. Those are usually pretty, they're tight and usually weak on people. Okay, so we're gonna go touch, touch, raise. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's go four more. Okay, four just for fun. I think I added, I'm gonna add one just because Actually, you're gonna see more than that because, all right, let's do those last four. One, up, two, two, up, three, three, up, and four, four, raise. Pulse it up for eight, good. I just go for a certain sensation in the body and once I have that, then I, then it's, you know, then I'm good. Five, four, three, two, and one. So eight plus whatever I did. You can do eight. If you're a numbers person and I said eight, you're saying I'm okay with eight, I can plan for eight, then you do what you need to do and it's more than fine. I say that in every video. I don't say on my numbers. And for people who like, you tell me what you want, I will do it. Um, and then if I add more, it gets you, you know, you feel frustrated, don't feel frustrated. Just do the eight. Do what your body will let you do. All right, okay. All right, so again, stacking the ribs and the hips on top of one another. And I'm in a little semi-pipe position. Remember that you could put that base right here with this leg. You can just bring the, bit, the leg slightly forward. Okay, heel, and this actually, it might actually be easier. Well, um, almost, yeah. Heel, heel, toe, toe to start with. So here we go. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. T um, Amazing Grace is on, I love this. Such a beautiful hymn. Yep, that saved, yes. A wretch like me. I for good measure, owie owie. And I didn't go back as far. All right, let's see here. I needed to go a little bit farther. I need to, I'm gonna do a few more just because I want, I'm gonna go higher. That way that same hip or that feels the same. Has to do it right where it burns a lot. That's what the sensation is that I'm going. And if you rotate, that's what I wasn't doing as much. Uh, it's feeling it now. The difference is the height ah, and turning the foot. Okay, because because you're engaging those muscles. Ah, and they're little muscles, so good. All right. All right. Now that feels a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna tap and lift. Tap, tap, lift. Okay, on the other side, I brought my knee in and I tap, tap, raise. Yeah, it's feeling it a lot now. Okay, just like that. But I'm going to stack the hips and tap, tap, up. Okay, 
holy, holy, holy. But um, the pitch that it's in is too high for me. I couldn't do it. Four. Ah, three. Ooh, ooh. Two, two. Ah, and one, one. Ah. Youch. All right. Taking this foot forward. We are going to tap, tap from the base. Lift, tap, tap, lift. Tap, tap, lift. Good, let's go eight more. Blessed Trinity. All right, remember that eight? We're probably already there. So I'm gonna do three more. If you did eight, praise God. Good, last one, holding up for eight, seven, Six, and I know I did a lot more of these on the other side besides that eight, so we probably did 16 or 20. So let's do the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we are done. All right, we're gonna go up to our backside. Hug our legs, ah. All right. Circling around, touching all four corners of the low back down. All right, so what we're going to do is release the feet to the mat first. All right, hands will go up, and so the shoulders are going to lift arms are not going down to the sides. They're not going to move at all from here. We're going to keep this 90 degree bend right here and we're just going to raise the upper body like that. So the arms stay exactly where they're at and we're just going to raise like that. Okay? All right. So in a moment we'll add a leg to that. So we'll, leg, we'll add a leg from tabletop. So when we come up I'll show you. It will be tabletop then the leg will go down. So, what we're not doing is this. Hold on, say coming up. We're not doing this, we're not hinging and unhinging, like, we're not going like this, okay? So, we're not moving here at all. This part right here stays in a 90 degree bend. And we're lowering the legs from in that same position, just like this, okay? So, you'll notice I'm not moving this at all. We are keeping this the same. So we're moving the thigh. The thigh is what's getting moved. Okay. You're like, I got it. Okay. I'm just making sure because that's one of the hardest things to get people to do initially. Once they've got it and they can feel it in their body and they feel the difference in the workout or in the exercise, then they do it because your benefit is 100% then. Okay. And if you're going to do it, it's always better to build that muscle memory correctly rather than, un, you know, correct um, poor form later. Okay, so you don't get the benefit of completely by doing it wrong. So inhale, exhale, draw the ribs together, pull your navel up and in, and here we go. Up and down. Up. Oh, you know what? We're doing this. We are not moving the arms. I said that. Sorry, do as I say, not as I do. Four more. Three more. Ooh, my neck needs a break. Two more. Last one. And hug your legs, relax your neck. Ah. Okay, let's do a few frog legs. So legs start here. We're gonna open the knees and bring them in toward our chest. And then just to give our neck a break, we'll go ahead and cradle the neck. We're gonna exhale and extend, knit the inner thighs together. Inhale, open the knees, bringing the knees to the outside of the rib cage. 
as you relax down. And then exhale. And just try to keep it in one plane so the heels are not dipping, they're not dropping down, they're staying up, okay? Heels drop, that's not good for me. So keep the heels up, exhale. All right, one, two, three, and four. And bring it in. Let's do that three more times. Up, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. A slow single leg. We're gonna have to go here. We're gonna go single leg just because I like those. Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm trying to do it without my bumping my kitty. Good. I was thinking of, but it's still all right because we have music in the background at least. Next time I'll have something with a little bit of a beat. That way we can do some exercises with the beat. All right. All right, but let's do a few boats maybe. I didn't plan exactly what I wanted to do with this workout. Actually, I rarely ever do. I just kind of do whatever we're gonna do. But let's go ahead all right, let's do these. These I haven't done for a while. So we lean back, we bring it up. So the arms are raised and then you bring them, as you bring the legs up to you, you're gonna bring your arms right through. You can take your arms all the way through if you can bring your legs up that high. All right, so let's do 10. Here we go, I'm leaning back. Again, draw the ribs up and in, pull your navel to your spine. Tilt back so that you're on the back side of the sits bones. The sits bones, when you're on the top of them, those are your ischium. And it's the two little bony processes that you sit on all the time. And that's why we call them the sits bones, because we sits on them. And then we are going to tilt back on the back side of them. Open the knees, because you can't really get the hands there. So what we're going to do is go, let's go 10. One. Exhale, two. Three. Now, if you can't do that, you can do single leg two, okay? Because those are a little bit hard, okay? Let's start over again. <laughs> 10, here we go. Whew. One, two. for a moment. Oh. Come to center. And go to the other side. Into a front plank. 
So hands are going to be right, right behind your hips and fingertips facing forward, not to the side or to the back. I see that a lot, but you want your hands and your fingertips facing forward. Okay, so bridging up and bring it down, up and down. Me, I'm getting a little cramp in the, in the calves. Oof. And touch down. Good. Up. Lifting the hips. Now, if lifting the hips in a straight front plank is too hard, you can go here. Bend your knees. Come up to a tabletop. And even from this tabletop, I'll show you another fun thing. You have to separate your hands just a little bit because most of us, the hips are need to be need a place to go. So we can open the arms a little bit. You just put them where you're comfortable. I just kind of slide my fingertips right by high, right beside my hips. That way I know I can fit through, but I'll show you. So you're coming up to a lovely tabletop. Slide through and bring it up. If you can't do that, you just touch your hips down and come back up to tabletop. So let's do that five times. Here's four, ah, three. And what we want to do is really press those hips up into the air. Ah, and through, up, tabletop, and one more. All right. Now, we're gonna drop the hips and we're just gonna bend the elbows. So the hips are not gonna touch down. We've, we're, we, you can walk your hands in if you need to, to reposition your hands, but we're gonna work the triceps, the back of the arms. So hips stay in the air. So the hips are not moving like that. It's just gonna be the, the elbows bending backward. Elbows dip, press up, dip, press up. Let's go for 10. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, woo, five. So you should have a burn in the back of the arm. Four, woo, three, two, and one. Okay, now I'm gonna do some pulses. It's just gonna be a little pulses. Three, two, one, press. 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 Press, a couple more, yikes. But we like the difference in the arm and it just makes you stronger. Good, two more, up, one, two, three, press. Oh, stretch it for a moment. I think I'll do 10 slow just to finish the triceps off. And we'll do something more from a plank position. Uh, Stretch that open the chest. Just a couple more from the from the um, from a plank, just to finish total body. Okay. Whew. Shoulder blades back and down. Ten slow tricep dips. So my triceps are going to probably be sore tomorrow. Hard to say. Okay. So I'm just going down. Press two. Press. If this is too hard, you can sit on your bum. Press back. Press up. Press back or just lower down, bending the elbow straight to the back wall and pressing up. You'll still get benefit from that and that's still working your triceps, okay? I don't know why I said let's do 10 more, but that's okay. 10, nine, eight, oh my goodness, seven. Not a good idea, six, but I said we would. Five, oh, three, four, three, Ooh. two, and one, and one for good measure. Now let's do five more for good measure because I said so. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Three, woo, four, and five. My goodness. Youch. I will feel that probably tomorrow. Hard to say. In my next video, Lord willing, I'll, I'll let you know what I did feel. Okay, so let's do one more. Actually, Instead of from plank, let's do a stabilization exercise because those that works the entire body still. 
but it really works the spinal muscles and you can um, really just isolate them without trying to maintain a total body posture. So let's do that because it might be a little much, but it hurts on my knee. That's the bad thing. Okay. That's okay. We'll, I'll make it through. Okay. So I'll start with that leg. So knees are right below our hips. There should be a hand width between each knee, just one hand and you sh your pinky should touch on one side and hand on the other side and the thumb on the other side, just in a natural like that. Okay. All right. Leg back, arm out. Let's do just a tap and lift, tap and lift. And then after five tap and lifts, we'll do a tuck and extend for five. All right. Then we'll combine the two for the last five. So we're going to go tap, lift, two, lift, three, four, five, tuck, extend, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to combine the two for five. Tap, lift, tuck, extend. Tap, lift, tuck, extend. Tap, lift, tuck, extend. And last one. And we will release that boy. Okay, now the fun part, because this hurts on there. I haven't even looked at it to see what I did, but I crashed pretty hard. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, all right, here we go. Touch, lift, Touch, lift, touch, lift, touch, lift, tuck, and lift. Last one. Lift, tuck, extend, tuck, extend. Try to keep your eyes just looking softly down. Four and five. Now we're going to combine the two. Touch, lift, tuck, extend, touch, lift, tuck, extend. Last one coming right up. All right. Uh, and take a child pose. All right, I have a microphone on today. I'm not sure if it's working, but we'll find out very soon because once I look back over the video, I'll know exactly if it was working or not. So anyway. That will be our workout today, just because I've got a ton. I ouch set a big goal for myself today. Yesterday I applied for six positions. I'm going to apply for 10 today. And if I can do more, I will. So I've got a lot to do. So remember, and so, you know, you seek the Lord early in the day and seek him all the way through the day because the Bible tells you to pray without ceasing. So I do pray throughout the day. It's a constant thing, but um, and on my bike ride today, I found myself praying a lot. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, which is a job for me and whatever else we need in our lives, will be added unto us. Matthew 6, 33. And then for Psalm 51, or 51, 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I learned a different version, you know, depends on the versions you're reading, like, NASV or New King James or Old King James or New International Version, you know, they will read a little bit differently. My favorite is the New King James. Then it would be, you know, it would probably be the NASV, New American Standard Version. But um, I just like the readability of the New King James. It, I, it, fe it feels like, and I love to memorize them from them, memorize scriptures from there. Because um, creating me a pure heart of God and renew a well, since this one's in my brain, we'll just say steadfast spirit with me. I, there is another way of that. Anyway, I just pray that you have a most wonderful day today. I'm going to pray right now and then we'll close. And um, I hope that you'll like this video. You know, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you have not, because that actually will slowly but surely build it so that I'm able to get out to more people. Um, the videos will get better and better as I go. Remember, I'm a complete newbie and not necessarily technologically challenged, but 
Uh, well, I guess I could say that I'm a little bit technologically challenged. I am just venturing out a little bit more and getting braver with things. And my, the quality of my videos will definitely improve as I um, try new things within, like, um, I'm uploading them to InShot and then they are going to get better. They will, they will, they will. So just bear with me. You'll be with me from the very humble beginnings. And they might, well, I pray that I'm always humble. You know, in other words, that the videos always stay with the, you know, I, I pray that the video quality gets amazing, but I always want to remain in, you know, that the Lord keeps me humble, always. There is nothing special about me. The specialness is Jesus Christ. I'm telling you that, because I know Angela. So anyway, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful workout. Thank you for doing for me what I couldn't do for myself. Every single day, just like you did for my thumb when I had an owie on it this week. Lord, I just pray, Lord, you bless everyone who watches this video and who did this workout with me. I pray, Father, that, Lord, that you bless them in their body. Bless them with strength and flexibility that they would start to just feel such a big difference in their body just from doing these workouts, Lord. And I pray, Father, for... Um, that they would be edified in their spirit and that they too would start reading the word if they're not already doing that. Just reading the word and really getting stronger in you, Father, and that they'd hear your voice, that they would um, just sense your presence in a deeper way. I just ask these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Just ask, Lord, for the salvation of many, Lord. For all those who watch these videos, I pray, Father, that you would lead them to Jesus. In Jesus' precious and holy name. For you, just like my, one of my very favorite scriptures is, For God so loved the world, which is, For God so loved Angela, that he gave his only begotten son, which is Jesus, that if Angela would only believe in him, um, she would not perish but have everlasting life. I pray the same for you, because Jesus, Jesus truly died for the whole world. All we have to do is accept his sacrifice for our sins. And all of us have sinned. Every day we sin. Seriously, we do something that's not right. And one sin separates us from God, but accepting Jesus he makes it so that we transition from death to life just by receiving Jesus. So I pray that you do receive Jesus because time is short and I believe, I believe the rapture is happening soon. It can't be too much longer because of the way that the world is. I know it will sound crazy to some people who maybe are not familiar with the Bible. But the more you read scripture, the more you know that we are truly in the last days, the way that things are escalating and so on. Anyway, I just want you to be encouraged. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things that you need, whatever those things are, will be added to you. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. God bless you.